Welcome back to My Pop Sports. This is Grandy. If this is your first time here, welcome, guys. Uh, appreciate you guys checking out the video. Check out the channel. If you guys are returning, welcome back. I am back, guys. I was on vacation. Fourth of July with the family, went back to the Midwest, to Iowa, uh, got a chance to just uh, stop by, see my mom, and just kind of see friends and family and everything, and the kids got a chance to have some fun, light up some fireworks, things like that. So it was uh, a good, I guess you can say, break from, from the monotonous of what we call life. So uh, other than that, like I said, uh, hopefully everybody had a good fourth, and it's kind of uh, a lot of things are going on in the sports card world. I, uh, I'll, I'll try and jump into uh, just kind of of my thoughts a lot of people were actually dming me just kind of wondering my thoughts on uh, uh about those stolen cards so we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that in a second uh i i want to talk about first is what's been selling um since i've been on vacation because i did really well so this is the thing guys um with ebay obviously what I actually did was, this is kind of a tip that I, um, I don't know if you guys want to use this or not, if you have an eBay store, uh, but what I actually did, because with the fourth coming up and I knew I was going to be gone for a, a handful of days, probably like, I, was, I think I was gone like five or six days, and what I actually did was last week, <clears throat> I think it helped, I don't know. I did a sale. I did a 4th of July sale on the eBay store. Uh, a lot of clearance, a lot of old stuff that I've listed for a long, long time. And I did a um, just a clearance sale and I, I mixed and matched certain items, um, some slabs, some uh, autos, some thicker patch cars, things like that. And I did like a 50 to 60% off sale. Uh, and I think it did well. Um, I, I really did, I, I think that sale, uh, really picked up because I saw a lot of sales throughout the whole time I was on vacation um, and I didn't really see a dip in sales thank gosh uh, but uh, I felt like that really worked obviously and, and that's something that you know I'm gonna keep moving forward and keep doing that keep an eye on that um, but that don't be afraid of stuff that I've listed this is what I've learned uh, that I've listed and it's been on on my store for you know almost a year or a year um, just old cars and like that don't be afraid to, to sell it at a discount I mean as long as you're charging enough to cover your shipping fees whatever um, don't worry too much about oh I'm not making uh, enough profit on this one little card but if it's a card that's been sitting there for a year or two years or you know six seven eight months you, you're better off just moving for whatever you can and using that to uh, put into a different you know inventory at least that's what i'm thinking so i you know i, I may keep doing this on a weekly or a monthly basis is a, a clearance sale um just to move old inventory so i'm going to look to do that a little bit more and i'll let you guys know how that works out but i felt like it worked uh this past week and and just doing that sale and everything so something to always keep an eye on especially if you have a if you have a big ebay stores um to to work on that and also even if you don't have a big ebay store if you want to do a sale it doesn't hurt so uh, people love the word sale so there you guys go on that end so other than that what was moving a lot was um i've noticed a lot of basketball picked up i was very surprised um, I moved a ton of basketball, a lot of um, up and coming rookies who just this past year, every, everybody from like Brandon Miller to uh, Pazinski with the Warriors to uh, just just Nick Smith Jr. Just a bunch of, of, of you know, this past rookie class. It wasn't crazy. Uh, I moved a lot of Victor Wimby Yama. Um, so I moved a lot, a lot of basketball and then even some goats. I moved and, you know, the, what I definitely noticed was with the trades, you know the off season and, and, and the trades and, and the free agency period i actually moved like clay thompson and everything like that sad to see him go as a warriors fan i was very sad to see him you know move on to the mavericks but what i did notice is that with the free agency there was an uptick in basketball sales so something to look into especially next year uh, i'm definitely going to revisit this video and obviously in a week or two weeks if whoever's going to be a free agent who didn't resign or whatever the case may be uh, i'm definitely going to look into possibly in you know i getting inventory of those types of caliber of basketball players so basketball was probably I, I moved my best uh football was consistent baseball took a little bit of a dip um however it's kind of my fault too i haven't really uploaded or listed a ton of baseball i've been more into the basketball and football scene uh so listing it in, in, in at my ebay store and everything on that end. so 
There you guys go. I felt like basketball finally, or, you know, kind of got a little bit of, of momentum on that end. So that was a good thing. Uh, other than that, the big news in the sports card world, jump into it. The $2 million valued cards that was stolen at the card show. I think it was the Dallas card show uh, right before the, obviously, I think the, the Nationals are happening now or coming up here. Um, sad to see. I, you know, I saw that. I saw a lot of YouTubers were talking about it, a lot of people. Um, and there was a lot of commenters, a lot of trolls a lot of people who have their own opinion which is fine you can have your own opinion um i have my opinion about it too uh it it sucks um i don't know if they had you know if, if that stuff was insured uh if it was insured it, it's it, they're probably paying a good you know amount of money to, to insure those types of cars at that value uh, a lot of those mickey mantle cards jackie robinson i think he's at reggie jackson jackie robinson cards um it was it's it, you know obviously it's not something we we want to you know portray this whole industry is like but like any other industry any other businesses guys there's always going to be um the bad apples and it happens guys look at any industry i mean thievery happens people are always looking to to get over on people and, and just kind of do the shortcut way um which really does suck and in reality I, I felt i felt really bad that you know i think they have a reward now if anybody can help them i don't you know my thoughts are i i don't think they're gonna recover it uh at least those cards wise the people that may get caught who knows i i hope they do uh, however, I do feel like those cars will probably never get a chance to, to get reclaimed. Uh, I want to say 99.9% .9 they're going to crack those out of those slabs because obviously they're certified uh, numbers, serial number. But if you crack it, you can't really trace those cards. Okay, so I don't think any of those cards were numbered. Um, so once they crack and take it out of the slabs, whether... <clears throat> Excuse me, whether they, you know, send that back in to PSA, Beckett, uh, as you say, whoever they send it back into to get graded, I think that's what they're going to end up doing. Sadly, you probably won't get to see those cards again. Um, the owner of those cards probably won't get to see those cards. I hope those guys do get caught. Um, it's just, it's sad for the business. It's sad for the industry. It's a black eye in a sense, but, you know, what can you do to prevent that? A lot of people, are, you know, what can you really do if you guys saw the video i don't know if you guys go go google it go youtube it you guys can see the video um there were like three or four guys that they they're they're thinking that was in on it you know kind of the you know distracting you know two or three of the sellers the dealers uh one more guy distracting and then one guy was there just to kind of um pick up pick that box and, and take off right um in that sense you know this is the only thing you can really honestly because they were just cleaning up and they either were putting stuff in their boxes to take home or whatever they were going to go so my only thing is to, to always keep your valuables in your site underneath you whatever i know when you're cleaning up that's probably you know you have to keep in mind that's probably the most I guess you can say vulnerable time that you are because you're cleaning stuff up so you're distracted whether somebody comes up and talks to you whether whatever because most of the time when you're you know in the midst of the show talking to people and everything you're always keeping your eye out looking left right looking right right so when you're at the show and as a dealer you're always looking around talking to people but your your eyes are always moving you know looking at your inventory but when you're cleaning up or when you're setting up uh, especially the cleaning up part you're getting distracted because you're cleaning up and putting stuff away and then people come and talk so you know you they probably didn't anticipate that to happen that core you know coordinated type of thing to happen um so you know a lot of the trolls people are hating like uh serves them right they should have looked better they should have kept the eye on better i mean they didn't expect it guys this is the thing if you've never had anything stolen in your life it freaking sucks um it sucks ass i've had have it happen to me not on my sports car thank goodness knock on wood but i've had other things that have happened to me before and it's just not it's not something you, you you prepare for that's the whole point they catch you off guard they, when you're not paying attention so you know and then the other people who are commenting that this is an insurance fraud and everything we don't even know if the thing is even insured so how can it be insurance fraud if it's not even insured we don't know i, I i'm not 100 sure if it's even insured or not even if it is man it's a very coordinated effort um, I'm going to give the seller and the dealer the benefit of the doubt by all means, by what everybody's been saying. They're great guys and they're great people. So I hope they get their stuff back. I don't believe they will. 
because it's just the nature of uh, what's going to end up happening. I feel like I hope those guys get caught. Um, only thing I can just suggest is that as dealers and sellers is that number one, if you have that high of a uh, valued inventory, it's definitely beneficial to get it insured. Um, no matter how much you have to pay on it, it just it is what it is. I, I would just do an estimate of what all my value of the cards is so you don't have to do in each individual, but I would do just the whole thing and, and get it insured. Um, only other thing is just, you know, whenever you're setting up, whenever you're cleaning, just be cognizant of what's of your surroundings and trying to keep your most valuable stuff uh, as close to you as possible. Another thing, uh, another tidbit just to let you guys know is uh, if you're a seller, you're going to do shows, make sure you guys get, I know it's funny, but get a man purse or, or you can get a fanny pack guys, get a fanny pack, keep your cash, keep, you know, the most high valuables on you at all times. So that way nobody, um, you know, I hate to say it, mismanage your money or location. Uh, I used to put my money in a box, turn around. I hated that. So now I have, I have like a, a fanny pack, a man, per what are, you can laugh all you want, but I, have that money and everything on me at all times. So shows like that, like I said, just do the best you can. Uh, keep an eye on it. Ensure your high, high, high value. Because it, you know, in my case, I don't have to worry about it too much. I don't have super, super crazy high value cars like that. But uh, there you guys go. Just my thoughts on it. It sucks. Give them the seller and everything the benefit of the doubt. Um, they just didn't expect it. I feel like, and it just sucks that it had to happen to our industry. But keep in mind, this is gonna always happen. It doesn't matter in any business, any industry. There's always gonna be people trying to find a shortcut and find a way around it. And um, sadly, but that's just kind of human nature. Uh, which, like you just said, sadly. So there you guys go. My thoughts on that. Uh, hopefully they catch those guys soon, and uh, I'll let you guys know if I hear anything. Um, Hopefully, if you guys go into the Nationals, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Just be safe, be good. Uh, and other than that, we'll see what we can do on, on sports cards. So I'm back at it, listing everything, guys. So uh, other than that, man, if you guys like this stuff, if you guys enjoyed this, feel free to subscribe. If you have not subscribed, I always tell you, uh, thank you for watching the video. I still appreciate you guys to, to the fullest. Don't forget, help me out. Check out the eBay store. Link, uh, link is in the description. Every little bit helps. Feel free to make an offer on any of the cards, worst case scenario. Uh, I will rebuttal you with a uh, uh, an offer on that. So other than that, man, have a good rest of the week, guys. Till next time, have a good one.